Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart and I am going to be giving you what you absolutely have come to love and that is the most professional technical analysis and the most important levels that we can be trading in my opinion this time within the next 24 to 48 hours. Why? Because we are seeing extreme volatility right now on the Bitcoin chart currently down 5% on the day. In the past 24 hours here, we are down 12%, a big, big, big move to the downside there. And I want to start off this video uh, for the educational piece, explaining this latest move to the upside, which led us for this really big drop and why we are bouncing where we are. And then, of course, the levels that we're looking to trade towards in the next 24 to 48 hours. So we've got quite a lot to cover in this video. So it might be a bit of a you know, 15, 20 minute video, but make sure you pay attention to it all. You're going to learn today and you're also going to have the levels that I'm trading off of next. So what more could you ask for? I hope that you really enjoy. And let's just really simply get into this. So Bitcoin. I want to pick up off, you know, covering basically this just this last 24 hour segment and this latest move that we saw to the upside, uh, picking up yeah, directly from where I done my last live stream for the public for you all. And that was about 48 hours ago as we were breaking up here uh, on the 22nd, 23rd. OK, and we obviously were in a live stream at the time and we were really, you know, zooming in on this bit of price action right here. And oh no, excuse me. Actually, it was this bit of price action right here. <laughs> and we were looking obviously at the CC Fibonacci resistance, okay, on that point of control that we had. So we had the point of control here on the CC. And we obviously looking at that resistance, we were looking at the order flow in the time. And my words were, I am personally not going to short yet. And I'm looking for another move to the upside. Why? It was based truly and solely off of the order flow. And we can see that over the next 24 hours over the next day, we did get that push to the upside. So this is what we were looking at at the time. OK, maybe we got the pullback. It did get a pullback in the end. But we were obviously looking for this to break up towards that thirty nine thousand dollar level or at the very least, to be honest, at the very least, we we're just looking at to, for it to take that high. Why? Because the order flow was bullish. OK, we were looking for bullish. There was no signs yet to short. We needed to remain patient. And obviously, it's pretty happy remained patient as we did get that final push to the upside here. OK, I actually want to just cover a, a, a swing failure pattern trade on that move up to show you that you can be taking scalp trades even against the overall trend and your overall expected move. And as long as you are quick with those trades, you can make money. For example, let's just use this as an example. On this really quick move to the downside, you might be under the impression every single long has lost money on this. This is not the case. This might look like a really quick, strong move to the downside. But if you are a skilled trader, you can be taking scalp longs that you have to be very, very strict and very, very quick with the trades. But money can be made even when most people might think, you know, there's no money to be made on on a trade there. And my example of the trade, I, I did not long long this, by the way. But the example I want to show you here is, is a short trade off of the swing failure pattern. And this is like a really good one to just get in, get into the brain. Obviously, we were we were ready and waiting for the high to be taken of that move. And then when it when it's taken, you have to like zoom in, look at things such as literally look at look at the order flow. This is how you uh, this is how you sculpt trade. If you want to be down there on the lower term time frames, we're talking like the one minute chart, by the way. Um, you you need to be um, looking at the order flow, otherwise you know you you just in my opinion you're trading totally blind. And we obviously come up, and this is what that swing failure pattern looked like. So pay attention to what we saw here. Big move to the upside at the time with, you know, heavy volume. You know, we're talking about quite heavy volume for the day um, with that really nice positive uh, delta on top of it. Okay, So what that actually left us with was this like trap shorts, uh, sorry, trap longs opportunity because we had seen the strong move to the upside. Well, it's relatively strong, so to speak, on the day because overall that volume is not high, but it's strong for the day and the point that we're looking at. That left us with these nice longs up into the high. On top of that, we then got our first retracement and retest. That retest actually retested the CC, by the way. It retested the CC, um, you know, giving us this really nice opportunity. And really simply, I'm <laughs> telling my team, you couldn't have asked for it more, uh, more plain and obvious. I just basically say, I'm shorting, fam. Let's go. <laughs> for me, this is the short. Why? Because of the order flow that we were left with. Okay. The opportunity for me was swing failure pattern. I was you know, ready and waiting for that opportunity. We have retested the CC. And on top of that, this order flow is really, really, really you know, looking nice. Um, and for me, it was as simple as that. You can kind of see here what it looked like on trading view with the retest. 
and a move to the downside. The reason why I highlight this to you is because of, well, there's a few things why I highlight it to you. First, why did I take that short? I was ready and waiting for a swing failure pattern. It wasn't out of the randomness. It was, I had a plan and I saw what I wanted to saw. I saw, I saw what I wanted to see. And really simply, that's a entry trigger. You know, I'm shorting. There's no hesitation. There's no, might do this, might do that. It's no, I'm shorting. Okay. And it's simple as that. We did obviously get a move to the downside. And this is the really interesting thing that I think you want to pay close attention to for the next one minute here. And it's this post that I made. Okay. Uh, I said, of course, it can move up again after the swing failure pattern. This was, this was at nearly 1 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we trade all hours of the night. But this isn't nearly 1 a.m. I'm saying, hey, you know, this short that we've taken here was a nice short. And this was the, the really interesting thing about it. Okay. Because at the time, you know, f think back to the first sh screenshot that you saw here. You have this bullish CVD for me. And this is like what I literally said to my team as, you know, this, this is what you call a game winning call, like a, a really, when, you know, where something's really, really, really tight, it can swing in either direction and somebody needs to come in there and bam, make that decision. Okay. And for me, it just felt like that really, really big, important game winning decision. Why? Because at the time we were seeing lots of shorts opening, which was obviously giving you that bullish CVD. Okay. It was giving you that bullish CVD and people are going to hesitate. Remember, we're on the one minute chart. There's no room for hesitation. There's no room for mistakes. You've got to be in there. You've got to be confident. You've got to take your trades. My, my thought process is, okay, we are, yes, we are seeing that bullish CVD. There are lots of shorts opening. Okay. But there's obviously that limit order holding it up. And so one has to make a decision there. Are we going to wait for a push down through that, or are we going to help move that ourselves? My decision was to actually short, as you can you can literally see from just timestamps when I posted this. Please do your own research and double check this. But this was before that low was broken. I really simply said, I'm shorting this. You know, that was my decision. I'm shorting it. No hindsight. Uh, I made my decision, and the reason for that was yes, I was looking at the bullish CVD, but I felt. I just felt off of the context of that latest swing failure pattern with the move that we had up on that order flow. I kind of felt if we can get through this this last low, we're, we're going to get that like avalanche effect, so to speak, where we you know I'm going to make the profit. Yeah, you know, it's going to cost the market order to push it through. It's a bit of a risk per se, but the the, the reward is, is going to be larger. And obviously that did pay out in the end. In the end, I helped decided to help push price down and, uh, you know, that scope at market to push through the limit longs as you took the low and price obviously stops out some longs and, and, and we did get that bit of an avalanche as you can see on like this print screen we obviously come all the way back down to the low over overnight actually ending up around you know nearly two and a half percent to the downside um, but the interesting thing here is yeah that, that was on you know this section of the chart but in the end we did make our way back up to thirty nine thousand dollars of course and then this is the thing um, where you've got to be like ready and waiting for for always like the next trade the next setup and um reacting to what's actually happening on the chart and obviously on that what, what we had coming up into thirty nine thousand dollars is um really simply i'm going to show you on what it looks like on this and then i'll show you obviously the, the post so if we load up our tpo chart this one was really 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 nice actually uh so this is the the tpo charts again if you don't understand this this is obviously something that we we teach but what we actually had moving up into this yesterday and you can see right, right, richly right at the top here, coming into 39,200, we had this um, NPOC. And this is the, the legendary thing. If you don't understand this, we obviously have the live streams every single day, every single day. And this was a level that was given by George in the morning update yesterday uh, for all the contenders and all of the champions in his trading update. Um, he was obviously talking about the NPOC. So it's a level that we're, we're aware of. And you can see what the, the beautiful thing of this is we hit that NPOC and we were left with this uh, selling tail. Uh, so this is naturally a really nice, really nice type of trade. NPOC up into what is forming another lower high at the time with the selling tail, with the swing failure pattern that was of the, of the high that was made at 1130. Obviously, you're putting in that high at 1 p.m. Um, you know, just, just giving you the, the, the general context of what you're looking at there and why you reject. Obviously, the other thing that you're aware of here is that we are in a really strong downtrend. We are in a, we are in a very bearish environment. And obviously, another thing that you could have been aware of at the time is obviously this ES weakness. So we're looking at the stock market more than just more than just Bitcoin and crypto. But when you're aware of the larger context, 
when you're aware of the levels that you're hitting, when you're aware of really simply we are in a downtrend on Bitcoin that's undeniable, signified by these lower highs, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay. And so you're, you're, you're aware that this is continuously like making these lower highs, as you can see here, lower high. <laughs> I'm just trying to emphasize this lower high, lower high lower high you can see this is still a lower high even up against this high it's still a lower high so you're kind of reaching this area of if the bearish market structure is going to continue it has to reject it you then have your technical reasons to reject there and again if you struggle finding those technical reasons george in his live streams every single day um give, give, gives those levels <laughs> okay um so that was obviously a bit of a bonus anyway and what we saw then throughout the day was, you know, really continued weakness throughout the day on Bitcoin. You also saw, now this is a bit of a meme, but of course it's kind of funny when you think about it, that you were seeing the uh, breakouts, yeah, breakouts, some of the um, really big YouTubers, you know, calling for the breakouts of most of the most valuable videos they've ever done calling for the breakouts. So you just got to be aware of at, the, at that moment in time of, okay, you're running into resistance, you're at to the lower high you're at the maximum opportunity in terms of a risk reward if you're playing off the lower highs for a short trade you're seeing people start to talk about breakouts um you know emergency breakouts and uh you know it, it, kind of like this guy said in his reply you know this is just another you could almost class that as another confluence when when people start thinking getting excited about that um and this is obviously how it looked at in the end so we did move up to that thirty nine thousand dollar zone okay obviously putting in that high at 39,200, which was the NPOC, as you can see here, literally to the dollar time in that one, leaving that selling tail. And um, and this is where you can recognize that sign of weakness. So at the time, you could have been looking for this. And to be honest, it was an absolute fair trade, a back test of that CC, for example, looking for another move to the upside. That is a potential trade. I would definitely say that could have been a potential. How are you able to recognize that this retest is not happening and you have to accept you're going lower. I always say as a trader, you have to be prepared for upside. You have to be prepared for downside. 100% you could have been prepared for this scenario to play out, bringing you up to that daily. How is it a total invalidation and why we have to trade what is happening, not what you want, not what you see, not what you predict, but what is happening. And it's really simply this, isn't it? You had that potential SR flip and all that happened was price went straight through it. So that resistance here did not flip into support. And essentially you can call this a fake out. We saw that move to the upside. You're looking for a potential retest, but all that happens is you break that down through. This is then called a deviation. This is very, 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 very bearish when you see such a deviation. And it's a very big sign of weakness. It's a very big sign of weakness on the Bitcoin chart, but also when you're able to recognize the greater market context, look at the FTSE, you know, look at the ES, look at the greater market. So you don't just need to look at Bitcoin to recognize that there's, the probability is extremely high that you're going lower. And of course, it, we did. We did go lower, but we're just playing the probabilities. The probabilities were extremely high that that was the case. And now that really brings us up to where we are here. So that was what? 10 minutes talking you through this section of the chart, how we were able to take a few different longs in here, a few different shorts in here and make money. That's the aim of the game here to make money. Or well, most people are really scared, fearful, you know, just watching their portfolio shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and get smaller because all they're doing is blindly buying the dip. No, we're able to come in here examine the charts and, and, you know, extract money from this using just sensible technical analysis, trading probabilities, not becoming fixated on one single idea, opening our mind up to trading both sides of the market um, and, and, and then really looking at this in a probabilistic manner of what is the most probable, not what is a certainty. So that really brings us up to, yeah, richly where we are right now. So I want to come out to the four hour chart here. And the, the most important level right now for me in terms of support is got to be the weekly coming in there at around $31,000, $32,000. Why is this such an important level of support? Well, it's going to be if we are hitting this, we will have broken our, we would have broken out of our uptrend channel, which is obviously our parallel channel on like the daily to weekly time frame. We would have broken really key high term time frame market structure um, based off of the channel. Obviously, the bigger market structure is down there at $28,000. But this weekly for me is really, 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 really key. OK, and in terms of resistance, I mean, you can also be envisaging like that weekly, by the way, 
for a move off of that low for that like type of swing fire felt auction move so this this is just so key for me um and in terms of resistance i mean that the, the daily that we the new daily that we have obviously we had a, a separate daily but this is our new daily that's formed there at 38200 is again just going to be such an absolute just absolute key level uh things that we can be or things that you can be thinking of right now is um are you comfortable to you know you have to make this decision yourself are you looking to uh, you know are you basically comfortable to long in such a downtrend are you mainly focused on taking longs or are you mainly focused on taking shorts and trading with the trends um this is something that you can decide because obviously there's different styles of trader you know i cannot give a, a blanket answer to this because i personally look for longs and shorts but maybe um, you know, certain type of trader might be more attracted to longs, might be more attracted to only shorts, depending on your circumstances and, and the type of trades that you look for. But you have to think here, if you are looking for longs, are you looking to be really aggressive and, you know, preset, for example, or are you going to just wait for these signs of strengths? And yes, the, the the first major sign of strength that you could look for is maybe a trend change okay trend change up here on the 30 minute chart so no not like a trend change on the one minute because that's a sculptor's time frame but more you know 30 minutes of four hour charts are you going to wait for that really you know larger sign of strength which let's be honest it is got to be like this higher term time frame market structure that is so that this is like it's still at a reclaim of like forty thousand dollars this is what you would call like a safe trade um yeah you're not going to long the low but at least you're going to stop like longing and getting stopped out longing and getting stopped out longing and getting stopped out this is what most people do and you know it's just, just you know really kind of a bad tactic in my opinion but um <laughs> you know so there's a few things that you can be doing here you can be you know marking out your levels of really important support, really important resistance. I've given you a few here in terms of the weekly, which in my opinion is a really big level, uh, on top of you know the overall low there that's coming in at around you know 33K for a potential swing failure pattern trade. Alternatively, things that you can be doing is waiting for your signs of strength. You can obviously be marking out your high volume notes okay so you can see right there that's coming in actually this is really nice this daily actually lines up with the largest one so yeah that daily is <laughs> is obviously massive um the other type of analysis that you can be doing is like putting your cc's here because actually here this i don't like this cc at the moment because there's like absolutely zero confluence with that level I much prefer the daily um but eg it's like marking out some of these levels being prepared for the levels it's like that yesterday it's like marking out this mpc and then waiting for the reaction if you if you come up into that level and you start kind of seeing your buying sells your trap longs you know this is leaning into it's a really good trade okay if we had hit that level there was no reaction we went straight through it then there's simply no trade it so it's marking out that level and then looking at the order flow once it's hit and in my opinion you can keep it uh, you know really really simple as that as we are moving down right now here on the bitcoin chart let's look at this on the three minute uh this is interesting there's a few announcements that i want to do and then we'll take another look at this to end few announcements that i want to do the first one was um yeah just a reminder that yeah obviously every day um even right now actually right now as we're speaking he will have literally have just started uh another live stream <laughs> this is for the contenders and champions given by the coach george absolute legendary trader um that people really love these live streams because there's a five minute update and then there's like a one to two hour long update so if you want the quick version or the long version you can have both <laughs> um and yeah that's that's given every single day and obviously yesterday he, he gave the high with with his level so that's announcement number one just a reminder i suppose that you can get that if you want it extremely valuable uh the se second one is <laughs> yeah, with, with this lovely photo um i done the elliot wave stream last night this that was uh, for the contenders so all, again once again all the contenders and all the champions can also have access to this elliot wave live stream where we looked into the chart over the past 10 years made account um moving on to like what's happening now for the next few months that can be rewatched on the website right now um so if you want to see that you can also sign up and the last announcement i have here is really simply for um the, the mailing list i think i'll leave this in the comments down below or the description that we recommend obviously with our new platform that's coming out in a few days time that you join that mailing list to be aware of what's going on within the team and also we'll be sending out market updates via the mailing list as well really simply all it requires is an email address uh, so if you want to be you know the first to be alerted of the changes that we're making on our new platform as well as a few market updates in there as well 
um you know that that can be achieved by just joining the mailing list so everybody i'll leave that in the comments down below you can click on that enter your email and, and then you're in that mailing list uh, for all the updates to come also wow look at this so we'll take a quick look at this and then i will wrap up the video we can see on this current move that move to the upside has once again left you with <laughs> longs coming in aggressively up at the highs again and this candle longs aggressively up at the highs so we have a really nice example of just a lot of longs literally opening up at the very high to move and now we will be moving back down into the cc okay so you can kind of see here this is something that you can be aware of this is clearly your level of support context is that you've just come off of the back of a lot of longs opening into um, basically resistance yep you also have your poc up there you can also see how this is really well formed a channel <sighs> Yeah, I mean, this was one minute and we can also sit and just straight away see like what's going on here. So, I mean, you would have had to have looked at this in the time. OK, recognize. I mean, what, what, why are these longs going so crazy into resistance? 6.3 million, 3.7 million, 1.3 million, 2.4 million, 2.5 million, 1.6 million, 5.3 million. Just several, several, several million longs opening up at the very high. You get that MS change. OK, and you then get that initial boom to the downside. That's now hit the CC coming back up into the middle of the channel. Again, this is for like people on the one minute time frame, but there's scopes to be had there. There's clearly short. There was a short scope to be had. And now off of the CC, if you're really extremely quick, you can obviously take these quick trades. Uh, next level I'll be looking at then for the SR would be back up into this high volume node. So around 50 35 300 that's obviously your sr flip as well um but the context here is bearish for sure the context is bearish so this is an example where you would have to make a decision as yourself of do i want to long do i want to scope long this trade um because it's not the highest probability let's be honest it's not the highest probability if you look at the context of the move yes you've hit the cc but uh, I mean, I mean, yes, it's hit the CC and it's got a bounce. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see some people in our group that have taken that scope. But this is not really a scope trade that I'm going to be taking myself because for, for me, there's not enough confluence in the context that it's come from. I mean, yes, it has bounced 0.62%, which, you know, if you got in on that, extremely well done. But for me, this is not, not really a, that's a scope trade that I would take. Um, and again, I'm more of a trader right now that's more conservative that would prefer to miss a trade than take a trade and lose money um that's just my style of trading i prefer to preserve my capital and take only the best trades this for me is not like yeah yeah it was a winning maybe it was a winning trade but i'd still um prefer to not take that trade um really simply based off the context i think you also have nothing here on the order flow that is immediately shouting to me that this is bullish so you know <laughs> there you go um yeah the la last thing that i actually wanted to end with and that was with this um yeah, shout out with the new way that we're doing the money shots. Uh, so the money, two money shots I wanted to call to attention here. And this is first one from uh, Rheumatic. And that was he has been, um, you know, three months inside of chart champions. He doesn't win every single trade that he takes, but his overall PNL of the last 30 months is up and up and up and up and up. You can see this is what you're aiming for. Okay. You're not going to have a vertical line that's straight up. You are going to take losses along the way, but you keep your losses small and your winners big. And over time, last three months, you can achieve results like this. This is just members that are coming in here, starting off like everybody else, losing, getting absolutely wrecked, studying and starting to turn their trading around. You know, it's really beautiful. And this is just some of the, you know, social proof that, you know, people exactly like you watching this can do this. This is another scope that we see yesterday. Uh, this was obviously before that move to the downside. That was the rejection off of that NPOC. You can see the rejection of the NPOC here. Then he has managed to get into the short based off of the market structure into local CC. Looking at the order flow, you can see mentioning the open interest here. Looking at the liquidations within inside the order flow software and managing to make money off the back of that. And so this is the new way that we are doing our, our money shots because before the money shots were not helpful. So we're basically promoting people to inside of the group to, you know, explain why they're taking the trade. So if you are, you know, you can scroll through the money shots now and get a lot of insights, why trades were taken, why people were taking them. So yeah, shout out there to uh, Rheumatic for his really nice results over the past 90 days. And also to 
Isowel, I hope I pronounced this correctly, for also, you know, showing what's possible when you're down here on the lower term timeframes, how you're able to follow what's happening and, you know, extract money from this market. So honestly, well done there, my friends. And uh, there you go. This is why I would have not taken that short because we're already getting the retest. I actually do want to go off and trade this now. But uh, <laughs> thank you ever so much, everybody. If you have enjoyed, as always, I would appreciate you smashing that like button and, uh, you know, giving it a, a share if you would enjoy. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So if you want more updates, we literally got a live stream going on right now for the contenders and champions. I got the Elliott Waves for all the contenders and champions as well that you can check out and join the mailing list, which I'll leave in the description. Thank you ever so much. Of course, no financial advice, just for the education, entertainment only, uh, paper trades, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you understand. Thank you ever so much. That's me signing out. I... Thank you very much. Cheers and goodbye.